For each of the past four years, DVD Exclusive Magazine has gathered the best and the brightest in the DVD industry who rose to the top of the class. This year was our biggest bash yet. This is just a night that celebrates DVD. I think it's such a cool like event to go on though. So I think it's great to celebrate the stuff that is out on DVD. You can have your favorite TV show or your favorite film in your living room and all the little extra pieces that they give you afterwards. I say this is great. This is our fourth annual award show. We're giving a special tribute recognizing the Red Cross's uh, efforts with the tsunami relief in Asia. Marley Matlin is here to, uh, to help us uh, do that. She's one of the national celebrity cabinet members for the Red Cross. We've got some other tribute awards to Johnny Carson. Miss Aisha Tyler! For more than 30 years, he was the king of late night television. He was a conversationalist and an inspiration. He spoke to us at our most intimate and unguarded moments about the things and people we cared about most. We invited him into our lives, and in return, he invited us into his. And even though he left the television many years ago, he has never left our thoughts. His theme song, his catchphrases, and his characters remain a part of our culture and our memories. And now, thanks to DVD, his best moments and rare backstage footage are available for future generations to appreciate. From his best-selling DVD collection, Here's Johnny. It is no great secret, and I go over to, uh, on The Tonight Show on NBC starting October the 1st as the host of that show, and it goes with me as the announcer on the show, so I'm here. So you know I am talking about the one and only What the man whose name appears in the title of the show will actually host his own show tonight. Tell you it was, was it? really hot today. Oh. It was worth the trip in, wasn't it? Just as, uh, it was. <laughs> oh, Margaret Thatcher is not in town. She actually is in Washington and uh, with meetings. And a reporter asked her what the biggest contribution that Great Britain has made, and she said, "Deporting Robin Leach." <laughs> Hello, one, two. Attention, Kmart shoppers, I have 34 garden hose and lawnmowers. <laughs> Hi, diddle diddle. <laughs> Hi, diddle diddle. <laughs> How do you greet your diddle diddle in the morning? <laughs> okay. I love Joan. I'm the only one who went down to see Joan. Doc has never seen her. You've never seen her. I went to the it's wild animal farm. It's all right. It's all right. It's okay. <laughs> but you're upsetting it's, me. No, you're upsetting no. Me. I don't upset you. I went down Joan and I I know you it. did. That's all right. It's all right. <laughs> don't say... You know, what? That I don't... I know her. I went down there. Oh, I know you did. <laughs> I, I, I know you went down there. And I held a I baby could, gorilla. I couldn't go with you that week. You held a baby gorilla. Yeah. Good, all right. And uh, let's get her out here quickly. Oh, what what was there about this fella? Uh, that, that was different than you? Yeah. This inaugural award, rewarding excellence in television programming for DVD, goes to a man who has launched not one, but two enduring television series. Each captured the unique American zeitgeist in its own specific way, becoming a part of our rich cultural landscape. 
and each has been nominated for multiple awards, including Best Television Program at the DVD Exclusive Awards. The first annual Johnny Carson Award is presented to a man who has turned unflinching self-absorption into must-see television viewing. The creator of Emmy winner Seinfeld and Curb Your Enthusiasm, Mr. Larry David. Now, um, he's a lovely man, but uh, he, you know, he doesn't like to go out. Uh, and uh, he was kind enough, however, to send us this clip. Hi. This is the third one of these that I'm doing. They told me the first two were much too long. So I'm going to try and be brief. In the late 70s, by the way, sorry I couldn't be there because I'm filming tonight. You probably don't believe it. You think it's the kind of thing I would make up as an excuse not to be there. But it's true. If you don't believe me, I'd call HBO and ask them. And they'll tell you that I couldn't possibly be there because I'm filming. Anyway, I'm wasting all my time. I only have a minute. That's what they told me. In the late 70s, I remember doing stand-up at the Improv in New York, and I got off stage, and this guy comes up to me, and he goes, I'm Jim McCauley with The Tonight Show. And I thought, oh, boy, hey, this is something. I must have done well. And he said, I just want you to know that you're not right for the show, and Johnny would never like you. So you can't do the show. So I never did The Tonight Show. I never actually met Johnny Carson. We were never even in the same room. So it's kind of ironic, actually, that I've won this award that's named after him, the Johnny Carson DVD Performer of the Year. And thank you so much for that. I'm sure Jim McCauley's not too thrilled about it, but hey, what are you going to do? It's just as well, because he, I think Jim was right. He probably wouldn't have liked me. Anyway, thank you, DVD people, Academy. I'm sure I said that wrong, but you know who you are. Enjoy the rest of the evening. Thank you. It's an honor. You didn't think that was sincere? It's true. It is. It's sincere. You don't think I could say anything sincere? Is that it? It's an honor. I, I got to take that call. Good. Bye.